Hello, my name is Greg Schick. I work for HPE. Uh, what we're demoing here is OpenBMC Network Boot, a flashless uh, boot solution for your BMC. So the concept is, is that we want to move the firmware from the device itself to the network. So essentially when this device boots up, in your normal BMC, the ROM is on, the firmware is on the system. Uh, the idea is that when this, system, when this BMC boots up, it loads up and it contacts these top of rack switches for its, it, its BMC image. And then between a combination of TFT boot and iSCSI targets, it will load whatever iSCSI image for this firmware that is on the network and onto this device. Uh, could you put the, the mic a little bit higher? No, uh, no, no, this one. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're saying you want to put the firmware in the in the network? Yes, that is correct. Top of rack. Uh, is that a crazy new way of doing things? It's a, if it's a different way of doing things, yes. The idea here is to number one make a deployment easier um, instead of flashing hundreds of systems if a BMC firmware is, is released, you just update a, a top of rack switch and reboot your BMC and it grabs the latest image. Uh, it also allows you to start thinking of firmware as more of an OS. So in this setup, we have a, a package manager here. So if, if there is a need for a security fix on your BMC, I don't necessarily flash the system. I can go to the BMC, install an updated package, reboot, and I'm, I'm updated. I'm, 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 uh, I am secure from whatever issue there was out there on the field. What do people do with Open BMC? So it's a, it is a baseboard management controller. It's for server management ex ex specifically. So let me grab my IP here. Hopefully this is the right one. It's not the right one. Let's so. It's like a server a, management. A little little uh, board that's in front of the server. Yeah. So basically, before the server gets power, the server this is it's an ARM processor running on a on a on a server. So when it gets power, it, it controls uh, boot it controls power to the system, fans, thermals. It's basically the, the the traffic cop of the system. So. And you got a Silynx Arctic uh, 7 in there. This is the heart of it right here. That's that ILO chip. That is that is the ASIC of that is the BMC management chip. That is HPE uh, silicon. Is an ARM chip? It is an ARM chip. That is correct. So here is what the inf the interface is. So in a, in a normal environment, this would when I logged into this system. It would be telling me what platform it is, uh, firmware. It, I, I would go to get the event logs of the system. I would power on the system. So this basically gives you remote control of your system. And this environment is slightly different because this is a development board. There's no server wrapped around it. So. And the ILO is it big in the industry? It is. Well, that is. I, it is an HPE ASIC. So only HPE uses it. So. And since when it's been in use? Oh. Um, it is, we, we first developed that, it's early 2000s. So it's been around for a long time. Like more than 10 years. Oh, at least 20. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. And uh, now you're talking about the firmware for that ILO. That is correct. That is and correct. you don't want to have it on the device, but just in a network. That's right. So every time you boot up, it loads it again. That's right. Yeah. Right. As soon as you apply power to this, it goes out and contacts those top of rack switches and grabs the latest image. Is there... Uh, Good reason to do that because a lot of things are happening in the firmware development. Uh, well, the, the switch open BMC is to make it firmware development easier. So Linux is it's well known, it's 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 superfluous in the industry. So that's the idea is to move your your BMC ASIC to something that the entire industry can develop on. Um, from the networking, from booting from the network, it's more of a manageability play. So we want to be able to manage hundreds of systems without having to actually go and touch every single one every single time if something changes. And, and to give you more flexibility in that area.